What's up guys, it's Josh from Soul Studios. Wanted to give you a quick studio tip video here, dealing with a particular issue in iLock. Every time I run up against something that's kind of difficult, I wanna pass along the info to you to try to help you avoid making the same mistake. So if you're going to sell your computer, your studio computer, say you got a Mac mini or even your laptop, if you work off of that, make sure you go into your iLock account and I'll show some video on the side here to show you exactly how to do it. You want to go to whichever computer that is, because keep in mind, some licenses go on your iLock key. You may have some in the cloud, and then there's some that go to your actual computer. And I had kind of forgotten about this. And what you want to do is go to the name of that computer, go to whatever plugin it is and deactivate, or, you know, if you're going to get rid of the computer, deactivate all of those licenses from that particular computer, because what it's going to do, like if you see here, one of one activation, that means if I got a new computer, I don't have any activations left. But if I deactivate this first, it would go back and say zero of one used or one of two. So make sure you do that before you sell your studio computer or your laptop, deactivate and iLock first. If you already sold it and you forgot, which is what I did, I'm gonna make a video coming up right after this one to show you how to work with iLock to get those activations freed up again. All right, thanks for your time, guys. We're going to get into a lot of stuff here coming up soon. It's going to get very interesting. We're about to finally talk Atmos. I think I've got a pretty different perspective from a lot of what's been put out there. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, make sure you'll be the first to know when that comes out. All right, see you soon.